Well, good afternoon everybody. How are you all getting on? Well, welcome back to the channel. And uh, yeah, I thought I'd nip out on the old GSX R1000R for a change. It's been a while, so you'll have to bear with me on this one. <laughs> yeah, the first thing you notice when you get on this bad boy is the uh, performance. And my God, is that bloody pokey. Yeah, right. Let's fire this baby up. <sighs> yeah, like I say, the first thing you notice when you get on here is, my God, is this a quick bike? <clears throat> if you're new to the channel and you're just passing by, consider subscribing, hit that notification bell, and you'll be ensured to... Uh, be notified of the latest uploads. Just a quick video today, mainly on the re the main reasons uh, for the video uh, why I couldn't part with this bike. I um, recently, I've just recently bought a, a new Triumph and um, was toying on the idea of trading this in or selling it private or whatever, and I just couldn't bring myself to part with it in the end. And it it's like today, it just sort of. Um, reiterates why why I haven't you know been able to do it it is some animal this bike let's take a right turn here this is just ridiculously fast oh my word Calm it down a bit. <laughs> yeah, back to what I'm saying really, the performance of this bike, it's just, the, the power is just so uh, linear. It's got the variable valve timing, so when you get the revs up, I think it's about, I don't know, 8,000, 9,000. This thing really sort of springs into life. It's actually fairly linear, the power all the way through really, but I think you get that additional performance through the variable valve timing works as magic I <laughs> say it's lovely weather today it's um, as long as 15 degrees today, which has been a long time coming. There's not really too much not to like about this bike. It's got the looks. I mean, it looks absolutely um, incredible, the bike. It sounds beautiful as well, with the Yoshimura R11 exhaust. And um, it's just it's such a likeable bike. I think it's quite forgiven as well, you know. Quite forgiving. down a tad. Oh, 
on the old camera's moving about a bit. I don't know if you, uh, if you let me know what kind of mounts you uh, you recommend, but I find this one just seems to move about. It's probably, um, it didn't cost a lot, I've just bought it off, uh, off eBay or Amazon, I can't remember one of the two. One thing you could do with on this is a uh, uh, cruise control, be quite handy. It's one thing the bike doesn't have, cruise control. <coughs> Not something you'd be worrying about on the twisties, but on roads like this would be ideal. That doesn't look very uh, safe on there. <laughs> but yeah, like I say, there's uh, not much not to like about this bike. It's all positives for me. Comfortable. Fast. Very, very nice to, to look at, very appealing to the eye. Um, sounds absolutely amazing. At the expense of a Yoshi exhaust. Like I say, I've never based buying a bike, not buying a bike on an exhaust though. I know the, oh, I know the, um, the standard exhaust is a bit of a dustbin, as I've said before, but you can soon wear them off. It just amazes me every time I come out on this, and it's been a while. It's been a while on uh, how actually how comfortable it is. It's very comfortable. This, if you ever if you haven't got yourself out to test ride one, get yourself over uh, to the dealers. Highly recommend test riding one of these. Like I say, I've recently bought another bike and was considering moving this one on uh, either part exchange or or uh, you know selling private, but couldn't really bring myself to do it. I was kind of like wanted to see how I got on with the Triumph first as well and so far so good with that. I mean it's not got the performance anywhere near this but it's, like I say, it's not it's not a uh, <laughs> such a, an animal as this thing. There's lots of other sports bikes to choose from. Got the new CBR. It seems to be more of a track focused bike that one. Whereas this you can potter around at your leisure. The thing what you have to be careful with, with on something like this though is you could quite easily get yourself in trouble with the law. Quite easily. So you have to be uh, as sensible as you can. <laughs> Listen to me. <laughs> Hello sirs few bikes out today. Essential shopping. <laughs> That's one thing you always need is milk and tea bags. <laughs> oh what a lovely day today. Still a bit of grit on the roads, a bit of salt, so I'll be have to have to get the hose pipe out when I get home and give it a wash, rinse all that shit off. Ah oh, down to the thirties. Hello sir. Flat calm out there today. There's a few people about as well. <coughs> you. What is also nice of coming out on this is um, the fact that it's run in. The bike has run in, it's fully run in, it's done 3,000 mile now, 3,005 to be precise, and you're not got to just nurse it all the while, whereas my other one, you, I mean, you've got, they've got to be running obviously, but it does get a bit frustrating, Oops, slow down, um, you know, yeah, it gets a bit frustrating, you can't really open them up too much, still, nevertheless, I think the old, after, you know, judging by my test ride on the other one, the, the Triumph springs to life at about 8,000 and I can't get anywhere near that at the moment, rev-wise. Not for a while anyway. Unless I want to blow it up. <laughs> I don't really want to be doing that. Yeah, I noticed the price of the old 
uh, sport bikes are still they're still up there they're not coming down you know they're expensive enough as it is yeah you're looking sort of anything from sort of 15 grand upwards I think this is still coming in at 17 might be able to get it cheaper certain dealers but it's a lot of money for a bike for a toy a lot of money I notice there's a new Hyabusa out as well, coming out, uh, Gen 3, <coughs> looks some sort of beast that does. Still snow on the side of the roads there. soaks up the bent bumps pretty good for a sport bike hello sir moved again by the looks of it if anyone can recommend any good uh, GoPro mounts for what they use I'd be much <coughs> much appreciated if you could let me know in the comments below I mean this one here it's only a cheap one off off the net but doesn't seem to be holding up very well on this anyway it's not very air yeah, it's kind of going to get the wind there isn't it to be honest But yeah, if anybody could recommend what they use, we much appreciated that would. Oh, lots of lots of mud there. Oh, it's a bit bumpy. <laughs> Hopefully things should start springing back to life soon. Get on a track day or that'd be nice. So yeah, um, thanks for watching. And if you haven't subscribed, consider hitting that subscribe button for all the latest uploads. I'd be much appreciated. Take care, see you on the next video. See ya.